Hey guys, this is Lena at Dangerous Thing. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're here for the first time. And today I'm going to take you to Barcelona. So let's pack our most colorful clothes and our best swimsuits and let's head down to the beaches and roads of Barcelona to race for our lives and for our pride and dignity. As always, I am racing in my favorite Audi R8 and I switched the color a little bit. Um, Oh, knockdown. I switched the color to green just because I figured, you know, going to such a colorful and vibrant place, we might as well not go in all black. Um, so uh, let's jump in. I have a few tips and tricks that I've discovered in the last couple of days while playing, and I'm anxious to share them with you. So one of the things that I've discovered while playing Barcelona map is that it really gives you quite an advantage if you just get off road and uh, go down the beach. Uh, even though it takes you in a larger loop, as you will see on the left hand side, our competitors are green dots and I am the blue arrow. Um, it takes you on a bit of a you know detour, but what it gives you a chance to do is to get more nitro. And we all know more nitro equals more you know, uh, burn power and more of a, uh, you know, more of a takeoff and, 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 a, and a higher speed for short bursts of times so when we need it the most. So uh, when you get off road and you get down to the beach, you will see towards the boardwalk, there will be just sort of a line of nitro bottles and you can get them all. And very rarely have I noticed do people actually get off road because everybody's so concerned with, you know, hitting the best time and just uh, taking every shortcut possible that, you know, they just don't get down to the beach. And so that gives you a couple of advantages. A, you have fewer people messing with you and trying to, you know, knock you down. And B, you also get the nitro that nobody else is uh, breathing down your back for. And so, Let's see um, how the strategy will work for me. Hopefully it'll help me to come in top three and uh, um, you know, even better so if I come in in top one. But that is the first thing that I wanted to share with you. And the second thing that I want to share with you is um, when I was playing in the last couple of days, I've noticed that when you get City Havoc points and come on, sir, just get off my back, uh, you know, as Audi brothers and sisters, just give me, give me a break, get off, get off of me. Um, so I've noticed that one playing and getting Havoc points and getting perfect runs, my nitro naturally rebuilds. So look up right now on top of the screen where my speedometer is. My nitro is completely empty. There is absolutely nothing there. So if I hit the uh, button right now, uh, nothing would happen. But you see how the bar is slowly building up from blue to yellow and that happened before I started collecting the nitro bottles. That basically tells you that when you get everything right, when you're not hitting obstacles or hitting obstacles and getting havoc points and air time, and perfect runs, your nitro will naturally rebuild, which is a huge plus. You never want to be in a situation where, you know, you're running out and you know that, you know, if you hit everything right, you know, and you get yourself a perfect run and havoc points, you're not going to get uh, nitro. So um, I found out that you actually do, and I don't know if it's a brand new feature of Asphalt 8 or if it's always been that way and I just never paid close attention. Um, but. Uh, another thing to remember is that because you only have a certain capacity for carrying nitro, just like you have, you know, your gas tank capacity or, you know, uh, or uh, petroleum, as people would say in Europe, uh, you cannot put more into it than it can carry. So what you ought to do is keep on playing earning more money and in-game currency and then taking your car to the shop so that you can expand your nitro capacity because what happens is you know if you get off road uh, in Barcelona map and you get every single nitro bottle but you maxed out your capacity every bottle that you get after you maxed out is just getting wasted because you can't use it later in the game so uh, you know keep on playing and keep on taking your car to the shop uh, to you know work on your uh, maximum nitro capacity, your uh, you know, acceleration, your uh, handling and everything else because the more you put it into your car the better you're going to perform at the end of the race and I am coming in in third out of four competitors which isn't fantastic but I will take it this was more of an informative uh, video anyway so let me know if these uh, tips and tricks actually helped you in your own gameplay and uh, uh, yeah I got my ass totally whooped by that yellow Audi and by a Scion FRS so um, I will try to use those tips and tricks in the future and let you know how they worked out for me hit a like button if you thought these were helpful and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.